So looking again at the test section, one of the things that uh, has been the subject, one of the areas that have been the subject of quite a lot of research over time has been moving ground technologies. Again, it's an area where motorsport has led the way and the aircraft and aerospace industries use what, what we have developed for their takeoff and landing simulations. Now, when I first started working with moving grounds, it was literally like a conveyor belt, almost like, almost as crude as a supermarket conveyor belt, just with a lot of tension and then with a bigger motor to run it faster. And one of the first things we learned is that if you do that and you put a race car on top of it, the belt is then sucked up by the suction created by, say, the front wing, the diffuser, even the rear wing will have an impact, but, but really the front wing in particular, the, the, the belt is sucked up. And if you produce a more powerful wing, the belt sucked up more, that makes the wing work even more efficiently, um, up to a point where eventually the belt will come up and touch the wing and then no air can come through and then suddenly you lose all your performance. So very early on, about 30 years ago or more, um, actually more, I'm getting older, 30 years ago we learned that you had to then suck the belt down and these were synthetic belts, just like a, a fancy supermarket conveyor belt or a running machine belt for example. And when we, we then sucked the belt down and that solved the problem for a short time. But then we found we needed more power because when you suck the belt down there's more friction between the belt and the table if you like, the, the surface that it runs over. So then you start to put holes all over your surface, you suck, the, you suck the belt down, you create more friction so you need a more powerful motor. And then we found the belt life would reduce dramatically and on some occasions we've literally had a belt melt and stick to the moving ground system. And then, so then you think, okay, well that's, we have to control the suction. So then we started to control the suction, to apply the suction where the, where the front wing is, and you, you try and create, uh, nowadays we just use CFD to tell us what the map is of pressure on the surface that we're running on. But in the past we would, we would uh, through experimentation and logic and, and a bit of aerodynamic knowledge, work out, okay, most of it will be where the front wing is, then you'll have other suction where the diffuser is, and so we then would regulate boxes underneath the belt to control where the suction was. But we still had the problem that we're generating a great deal of heat underneath the, the belt surface, which would limit... So we went from a belt life of, say, 200 hours to a belt, belt life of uh, 50 hours when we, when we put uh, suction on. So then we decided to go for cooling. So then you take your metal bed for your moving ground system and you start to drill holes. We used to call it gun barrel drilling because you're drilling holes over a long uh, distance. So this synthetic belt technology was replaced when uh, uh, an American company called MTS came into the market with a new type of moving ground technology. This technology is basically uh, a steel belt with a highly polished underneath surface which is supported on air bearings. Now an air bearing is nothing particularly hard to understand. It is, uh, you supply high pressure air through a microporous uh, material and this microporous material allows the air to come through. It's still at quite high pressure so the harder you push down with your steel belt the more that is resisted by the air pressure coming through the porous uh, bed material. The only problem with that is the, the, this porous bed ma material with lots of air coming through is pushing air underneath your, your moving belt and unless you evacuate it, you then have an air bubble that's going to support, to allow the belt to float and it'll be sucked up. So basically you have about approximately 20 mil wide strips of uh, air bearing and either side you have vacuum lines. So we have rather large vacuum pumps within the wind tunnel building to every 20 millimetres it sucks away the air that's being pumped in. So you have air being pumped in, air being pumped out. The interesting thing is that then the horsepower you need to drive your belt reduces dramatically because you, the belt is supported on air bearings and it literally is floating on air. And it was very funny in the, in, the, in the stages where you're commissioning your facility, you can take a, a, a flat piece of material, such as uh, even a relatively heavy small surface table, turn it upside down, a surface table is very smooth. 
turn it upside down and put it on these air bearings and you can sit on it as a human being and float along. It's a little bit like a, a two-dimensional version of flying in space, but it's only two-dimensional. But it is quite funny. And this technology has then been evolved and developed and matured. So we now have uh, a moving ground system that is so uh, well engineered that we can put a race car on top. We can take the, the weight of the car and the aerodynamic downforce of the car, which is much greater than the weight of the car. It's, it's getting into tons and do aerodynamic testing on our race car up to 80 meters a second, physically possible, not allowed in the rules anymore, used to be, but physically possible. And we have no problem whatsoever with the moving ground system, which with a synthetic belt was an impossible dream or close to an impossible dream. So this technology has become very, very useful for other industries also, more extreme aircraft industries to do their testing. So they would now be able to, to effectively land an aircraft on a belt in scale, of course. So that's moving ground technology, which has changed a lot. And one of the side effects of uh, using this steel belted technology, because the friction is so low now, we no longer need cooling for our moving ground system. It's cooled by the air we, we pump underneath it. And that's it. I'm giving the game away now. I'm going to ruin the future of aerodynamics. <laughs>